Hey queens, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be filming a hoodie collection because I feel like hoodies are such a staple piece in your outfit and you guys are asking for more fashion content so I'm like... Sorry about that, I just got a parcel and I've just been like trying them on and now I'm like, I was just filming a YouTube video and I completely forgot. Anyway, let's just get into it. Starting off with one of my favourite hoodies ever. I feel like it's very underrated. A lot of people don't like it, but it's actually one of them hoodies that just like grow on you. Like when I first put it on, I was like, mm, is it £200 worth? Probably not. But my boyfriend hated it when I first showed him it. He was like, you look emo. And I've worn it. And now he wears it every single day. I'm not even joking. He was like not even gonna give it back to me. I had to say to him, I need my hoodie back before you go back to uni. He wasn't even gonna give it to me. It's this represent hoodie. It's got like three dogs on it. I do think it is a bit emo-y, but it is actually a guy's hoodie, so that's probably why. I feel like it's more of a scary man's hoodie than a clean girl hoodie. <laughs> but the quality of it is so nice. Like it's so thick. I just love this. It's just cool, it's different. It stands out. Not every girl has this hoodie. That's what I like about it. Okay, I know this isn't a hoodie. Luke always says to me, he's like, you realise that isn't a hoodie? That's a jumper. And I'm like, does it really matter? It's the same thing. You know what I mean? Because it doesn't have a hood, so it's not classed as a hoodie. But I'm going to show you it anyway because you guys love this one and always get questions where it's from. It's from Princess Polly. And I absolutely love this. I always used to see this girl wear it. And I never knew where it was from. I just, I don't know, I didn't really... I thought it would be really expensive, like I just didn't really think I'd buy it. It wasn't something I'd buy, but I just saw it and I really liked it. And then I worked with Princess Polly and I saw it on their website, I was like, oh my god, I need that in my life. I really like it and I love how there's like black stitching all around, I was going to say the hoodie, it's not a hoodie, the jumper. And even the neckline, I just love it. There's Portland, if you couldn't tell. <laughs> I just love this, it's so cosy, it reminds me of summer. It gives like beach vibes. I feel like once you've been swimming in the sea all day, you put this on. That is the vibe it gives. I love it. It's just like a, just one where you just chuck it on and you're just cozy in it. It's so big. I love it. Got it in the size eight as well, just for the oversized look. Next is this hoodie. Actually has a hoodie this time from Bo and T. The only thing I don't like about this hoodie is it gets makeup all around the edges because the hood is so tight if that makes sense like you see this hood it's just like it just falls off like don't get me wrong i love it when the hood sits perfectly and it probably just stays up that's what this hood does and that's why i love this hoodie but it does just get your makeup all around it which i find really irritating you can actually just spray hairspray along the line to stop your makeup from getting stuck to it and yes that actually works it's such a good little trick for you guys a little hack but yeah, this is from Bowen T, which is the sports section of Opoly, which I love. I feel like it's very underrated. People don't talk about it enough. But I love Opoly anyway, so obviously I'm going to love the sports version. And this really reminds me of the Sisters and Seekers yoga hoodie. But everyone and their mum and their nan has that hoodie. And I don't want to have the same hoodie everyone else has because you're just walking in the street and you're like, oh my god literally wearing the same outfit right now that's the thing with social media nowadays once someone posts about something everyone gets it and i'm guilty i do that but it's just like when you go out twinning ends with everyone it's just embarrassing at this point so i was like i'm gonna get a kind of different one it doesn't even look that different but it's the same vibe it's like gray and then it's got like the bubble writing which i love this bubble writing effect it's like stitched and then on the inside it's like fluffy i don't even know how to explain that and then yeah it just says bow and tea really small there. Also, this is such a nice cropped fit. Like, it stays there. Like, it's not a really baggy hoodie, which I really like. Then on to Sisters and Seekers. I actually have another one. I have three of their hoodies and one of them's in the wash. So, I'll just show you the two that I have. First up is this one. I really just wasn't a massive fan of this for the longest time and then my friend Leah wore it and I was like she just pulls everything off honestly this girl so I was like I'm gonna get it got it obsessed with it how cute is it and the back the back is my favorite thing because details on the back of hoodies just mean everything to me not only do you look cool from the front you look cool from behind 
that's what I love about it. I don't even know what it says on the back. I think it's just like brother jeans, sister jeans. Oh yeah. So there's a brother brand. I bought Luke some stuff from that. Oh my God, this piece of hair. Girls, if you have any tips to keep the back of your hair up all day, please give me them because my hair just does not stay up. I have to hairspray it like a thousand times a day to stay up. It really annoys me, especially when I have a ponytail in because actually no, maybe it doesn't look as bad. But yeah, this one's from Sisters and Seekers. Love this, love the detailing on the back. They have this in a few colors. They have it in like a dark gray and a, and a white, I'm pretty sure, or a light gray. But I really like the black one. I don't really wear black hoodies, but I do like this one. I feel like black really washes me out. But I do love this hoodie. Also the fit of the Sisters and Seekers hoodies are chef's kiss. This is another one that I'm wearing right now. She got this yesterday and I've been wanting it for the longest time. That's the only thing with the hoodies that always sold out. Because they're just so nice. Everyone wants them. It's this little like cropped zip up, which oh my god, I'm obsessed with. I want to get the matching joggers to it, which I'm actually gonna order today. Yeah, I got this in an extra small. It's very oversized and it's got like lines down the side. I don't know if you can see that, but it reminds me of like Adidas hoodies. I love it. Very nostalgic. Then another zip up hoodie. I'm gonna zip it up so you can see it. This is from Becca Carriage's brand. She made her own clothing brand, which I'm so proud of her. Like that is where I want to be in life. I want my own clothing brand. I just wouldn't even know where to start. Oh my god, it's actually dirty. I'm sorry. I don't know why there's dirt on it. And makeup again. Oops. I need to stop being so orange. But I think it's called R E V E U S A. Yeah, reviews. And I love it because it's not too in your face, but it's just, it adds a bit of detailing. I love this color as well. It's such a perfect gray color. It's like light gray. This is my favorite color on myself. Like I think everyone suits light gray. I don't know why, it's just such a nice color. And then on the bottom and on the sleeves, it's got like this, I don't even know what you call this. If you don't like it, you can just tuck it under and then it makes it look baggy. That's what I do with the bottom bit. I tuck under and then it makes it more cropped. I don't know how to explain it, but it just looks so cool. I love this little cropped zip up hoodie. I'm loving cropped zip up hoodies at the moment. I don't know what it is. It's my new thing. And then on to Kai the label, I'm just doing hoodies in brands at the moment. I don't know why. I really like this one. I got this because I saw the Sisters and Seekers Holy One. Can I stop talking about Sisters and Seekers now? Move on. The Sisters and Seekers Holy One always sold out. Really expensive. Not really expensive. I think it's like £60. But the Kai the Label ones are like 35 And it looks identical. It just says Kai. I don't know how you pronounce it. Kai the Label. And it's from Public Desire because they sell Kai the Label hoodies. Yeah, just the colour of this is perfect. Really nice fit, really good quality, affordable for anyone. And all of their hoodies are kind of like this, like the bubble writing with the stitching on the outside and then the fluffy. But that's a thing now. I feel like every brand does that with their hoodies. Yeah, love this. And then this is another Kai the Label one. This one says Kai Studio. I really like this one because it's so subtle. Like it almost just looks like a plain white hoodie and the fit of it the hood sits so perfectly only thing with this is a stain on it and i can't get it out and i don't even know where this is from i think it happened at center parks but i've had it on there for like two months now and i've washed it so many times and it still hasn't come out yeah i'm like this however i can't really wear it out because i just look like i don't wash my clothes i do love it though it's really nice i really like the hoodies i definitely want to get more of the hoodies they're such nice fitting hoodies and the hood just sits perfectly i can't even explain that and this hoodie broke the internet <laughs> i'm joking but every time i post with this for some reason you guys are obsessed with it i mean i was when i first got it i think it's because i've worn it so many times now i'm like it's just a hoodie i'm like that like with this hoodie i love it so much right now in a week I just won't reach for it anymore. It will just sit in my drawer for about a year and then I'll get rid of it. That's just, I have a really short attention span when it comes to clothes. I'll wear them once or twice. And then I'm like, I've done that with all of those hoodies that I've just shown you. Like I've worn them once or twice and I'm bored of them now. Yeah, it's a really nice charcoal gray color. It's from Lux to Kill. It does actually say Lux to Kill on it. Very small, which again, I like. I like really subtle, brand details like don't need it like i love sis and seekers how says sis and seekers but some brands i'm like we're doing too much we get it it's from lux to kill we don't need it to say it all over the hoodie but again the 
fit of this and the hood of this, the quality of this. This is the best quality hoodie that I have. Like the hood is so thick, it sits so nicely. It's such a nice color. Love this. I will never get bored of this. I actually have the matching joggers and it just looks so cute in a tracksuit. Um, this was my winter hoodie. I wore this like every day in the winter. I love it. And then last of all is a white fox one. I would show you more, but I think a few of my white fox hoodies are in the wash because I just can't find any of them right now. Otherwise I would have shown more hoodies, but white fox is definitely up there with one of my favourite hoodie brands. Like how cute is that? Like I said earlier about the detailing on the back of hoodies. Love it. And they do hoodies like this in every single colour you want. Pink, purple, green, blue, yellow, any colour. You will find a hoodie exactly like this. It's very plain on the front, which I said I like. And then on the back, it's got like bubble writing, which I just think looks so cool. See, this one's very basic, but it goes with everything. As I said, this is my favourite grey colour. need more hoodies in this colour because they just go with everything. But yeah, will always be a massive fan of White Fox hoodies, as you guys know. They are my ride or die brand by Fox. It's my favourite brand ever. Yeah, I could sit here and talk about their hoodies all day if you really want me to, but I've got a few hauls on White Fox now, so go watch them. And I've got a few more coming. I am obsessed with them. I can't wait to get loads of like swimwear and dresses for holiday. So excited. Really nice hoodie again, really nice fit. I hope this video helped you guys. I get a lot of questions all the time where my hoodies are from, so I hope this answers some of your questions. I think I said where all the hoodies are from and like what sizes they are and stuff, but yeah, if you have any questions, ask me in the comments. But I have shown you my like top hoodies I wear like on repeat. Because the rest I don't really wear that much. Like I wear them like once in a while, so you've probably never seen them. These are the ones I'm always like posting and stuff. So I hope this answered all your questions. And I love you all so much. Please like and subscribe. I will see you guys in my next video.